What's going on YouTube? Justin here, AKA Goofy Skating Lifestyle, back at it again with another unboxing video. I got more skateboard stuff that just came in the mail yesterday. Deciding to unbox it today. We'll see when I premiere it out. I'm going to be unboxing it here in the basement. Not so nice out today. It's raining outside. I was gonna do it in the backyard, but it's raining. So without further ado, let's unbox this and enjoy. Shouldn't need a knife to open this or anything. That tape, that packing tape's not too uh, tough. So I've been riding, I've been riding 8.75s lately, the past couple times, but I'm deciding to go back to 8.5s and 8.38s. So the Black Friday sale was on, so I decided to get two decks, a belt, grip, and stocking up on wheels. Let's start off with the two sheets of grip. I got some of the Primitives brand grip tape, which is pretty sticky. It's not like Mob, but it's sticky, and it gets the job done. I'd kind of compare it just in the middle between Jessup and Mob. It's perfect, good enough, gets the job done. I've never tried Primitive Wheels. These are 51 millimeter 101As. These are the Primitive Rose wheels. They're called New Rose wheels. So they've got a little uh, rose design on their wheel there. I'm gonna ride them with the white side out, but I'm not gonna be riding those for a while because I have other wheels to ride through first and do reviews on. I've got a Primitive belt here. The one that I have on currently is about a year old, so it's time to switch it out here soon. Still gonna wear that one as well, but figured this one was $18 instead of $22 or whatever. It was on sale and it's lasted me a very long time. So I went ahead and purchased it. It's just got, I'm a car enthusiast, so I think it's cool. It's got a car on it, like all over it got cars and it says primitive right there on it as you can see and it's like a navy blue color which will work very well for the clothes I have on to the last but not least the two decks that I purchased this is a really cool graphic as well as the one that I'm going to show you next but this is the Silvis SOTY skater of the year deck this is an A85. The wheelbase is 32, so it's a little longer, which is neat. The nose is 6.95. The tail is 6.66. The wheelbase is 14.3, which I'm actually really going to enjoy. The nose is just slightly larger than the tail, which will be perfect for my nollies and nollie pop shoves and whatnot. I'm really looking forward to that. The concave is pretty high, which is what I enjoy. Not too high, not too low. It's just where it needs to be. Now this one, this one is the Desmardo, or De Desarmo, I don't know how to say his last name. Desarmo um, Owl Deck. So this is the hollow foil graphic, which I always really enjoyed from Primitive. Their holographic hollow foil decks are really cool. If you guys haven't checked out my Polani hollow foil bat decks, I have had two of those and I really enjoyed them. Those were in 8.75 egg shaped decks. Those were really nice decks. Um, I've never had an issue with primitive decks. They've always lasted me a while and get the job done. So the fact that these were on sale for Black Friday, I wanted to cop them. Let me read the uh, wheelbase and everything for you guys here. It is 8.38 by 31.88. The nose is 6.9 and the tail is a 6.6. .6. The wheelbase is 14.9. So I'm actually probably going to like this one over this one. But I do like this one because this concave is really deep on the nose here. And the, the way the... Um, 
the length of it's nice because of the, where the pockets are sitting. So because of where the pockets are gonna sit, I like that for practicing my kick flips. I can skate any shape really. I'm not too picky with it and I get used to a board fast. Um, if I haven't mentioned before, I've been skating on and off for like 17 years. So because I've been getting back into it and actually trying tricks again legitimately the past two and a half, three years since my right foot injury, I've noticed that trying multiple decks from going from an 8 to an 825 to an 838, 85, and 875, I find myself more comfortable on 885 and 838. I do like the 875 because I don't over flip what my and over correct my board when I flick for a kick flip, let's say, or um you know, doing certain tricks like board slides and whatnot, I find it easier with an 875, but I'm finding myself leaning more towards the 838 and 85 category with a 149 truck. So, without further ado, that is the end of today's video. I hope you all are enjoying the content so far just as much as I am enjoying to make it and create it and watch it over with you guys as well. I hope y'all We'll see me in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.